A lot of business is already happening in this window, but there's a lot more that needs to happen before it closes. Here are 10 footballers your club needs to sell. And we'll start with Harry Kane. This might come as a shocker to you, but Spurs actually have to sell Harry Kane this summer. The striker has just one year left on his contract, and it's not looking like they'll be able to convince him to extend it. So if they refuse to let him go this summer, they might just have to watch their most valuable player ever leave for nothing next year. That doesn't sound like something anybody would be willing to do. Of course, left to Spurs, they would want Kane to remain and retire at the club. But the man wants to win trophies, which means he has to go. So the best thing is for Spurs to just count their losses and, at least, earn some bucks from his transfer. And it's really the same logic with Kylian Mbappe. PSG need to sell him this summer. He has made it clear that he won't be extending his contract beyond 2024. So it's either they sell him this summer or watch him walk for free next year. Year. And considering how much they paid for him just five years back, the latter doesn't seem like a very wise choice. Also, Mbappe has been pretty disrespectful to PSG recently, so it's not even honourable for the club to still be trying to convince him to stay. Yes, he's a fantastic footballer and he'll be a huge loss, but it's better to rip the band-aid off now and just focus on rebuilding. A Champions League winning coach has just been hired and new players like Asensio, Ugarte, Lucas Hernandez and Kang In Lee have been bought in. So, all PSG needs to do is to just let Mbappe and even Neymar go and focus on a rebuild. And if they really want to win their first Champions League anytime soon, they have to start their rebuild right away. Speaking of first Champions League titles, Man City just got theirs this year, but they're not resting on their laurels at all. They've already done some business this summer, but one piece of business they really need to do is sell Amaric Laporte. That transfer will benefit both the player and the club because it's become obvious that Laporte is no longer useful to Pep Guardiola. The Spain international barely played last season and now Pep seems determined to bring Guardiola over. So the best decision is to let Laporte go. It would also help Man City balance up their books a little. If they would sign Guardiola, he wouldn't be cheap at all. Arsenal look like they're interested in Laporte and that won't be a bad move for the defender at all. Arsenal meanwhile have to sell Rob Holding. The centre-back has been at Arsenal since 20 2016 and has hardly ever been a mainstay in the first team. Last season, he got a run of games due to Saliba's injury, but he was far off the standard required of a team in the title race. So, Arsenal need to just finally stop holding on to holding. Already, Arteta has signed Urien Timber and is still eyeing Laporte. And don't forget that they still have Saliba, Gabriel and Kiwior. If they have these five centre-backs, or even just four of them, going into the new season, they won't be missing. Rob Holding at all. And guess what? Man United also need to sell a centre-back, Harry Maguire. Now that De Gea is gone, the next person who needs to leave the club is the captain. And actually, this could also be for Maguire's good. Maguire has suffered a lot since he joined United and it'd be very difficult for him to break into the first 11 once again without the confidence of the coach and the fans. Each time he steps onto the pitch in a Man United shirt, there's a lot of pressure on him. And that is a recipe for disaster. What Maguire Maguire needs to do is to just go elsewhere and start afresh. Man United, on the other hand, will be happy to say goodbye to his nearly £10 million annual salary. Speaking of Man United, they let Paul Pogba go for free last season and it looked like it was a steal for Juventus. But now, we think Juventus should actually sell Pogba this summer. He's being paid close to €200,000 per week, but he missed almost all of last season due to injury. And honestly, it's not looking like he'll be back to full fit this next season. Also, he's 30. He's not getting any younger. If they'll get anything at all from his sale, then they have to do it now. Meanwhile, over in Spain, Real Madrid have to sell Aurelien Chouameni this summer. He's not a bad player at all, and he's still young, but Madrid have signed Bellingham and Arda Gula, so Chouameni will very likely struggle for game time next season. Cruz and Modric aside, Madrid now have Bellingham, Camavinga, Ceballo, Valverde, Arda Gula, Brahim Diaz, and Chouameni in the mid field alone. Obviously someone has to leave and Chuomeni appears to be the best option. He can easily be replaced but he'll also earn Madrid some money. Perfect choice. Speaking of earning Madrid some money, if they really want to bring Mbappe over this summer, they would have to let go of players who will really earn them some bucks. Barcelona, however, need to sell Ferran Torres. A few players underperformed for Barcelona last season, but Ferran seems like the best choice to be sold if Barcelona are to sell just one 
player. Ansu Fati is a product of the academy, so you can understand the sentiment of wanting to be a little more patient with him. If they would let go of Sergi Roberto, he wouldn't be sold, he'd be let go for free. Eric Garcia won't make the club as much money as Ferran Torres would, so if they can sell just one player, it should be Ferran. Also, they've welcomed back Eze Abde from his loan spell at Osasuna, so the club won't even have to bother about Ferran's replacement. They already have him. Back to Madrid, Atletico have to sell Jao Felix. They were probably hoping that Chelsea would take him off their hands, but unfortunately for them, Poch has said he doesn't want him, so he's back to Atletico. His relationship with Diego Simeone has since deteriorated, so we're not very sure if the Portuguese winger will be used by the coach at all if he remains. Felix is young and talented. Surely his sale will make Atletico some money. We're pretty sure the 23-year-old winger wants to leave too. Reports say that Man United are interested. Hmm, it appears that they're loving this game of signing former Chelsea players. Speaking of Chelsea, they've made a lot of sales already this summer, with the likes of Kovacic, Mendy, Havertz, Mount, Koulibaly, Loftus-Cheek and Pulisic already out the door. But here's the thing, they still need to make sales. Two guys they need to sell? Hudson-Odoi and Aubameyang. If we have to choose just one, it's going to be Callum Hudson-Odoi. Chelsea have still not found a centre-forward, so Aubameyang, with all his skill and experience, could be perhaps find himself again under a new manager. hudson Adoy, however, well there's just no way back for him. Chelsea have way too many wingers to even be considering keeping hudson Adoy, so he has to go. What other players would you say need to be sold by the current clubs this summer? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so that you never miss out on new content. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye!